to that type of government. He canceled teacher training allowances. He canceled nursing training allowances. Even chalk in school was a problem. He said if he had the money, he will not do free senior high school education. Our government said no. We believe education is the future of the youth. We are going to invest in education. We introduced free senior high school education. And we have benefited from free senior high school education. The enrollment in free senior high school has increased from 800,000 to 1.4 million students. From independence to 2016, that is 60 years, 60 years of Ghana's in the, after Ghana's independence, we had 800,000 students. But after seven years of free SHS, we added 600,000 students. And what is interesting and good is that today there are more girls than boys in senior high school today. And they are doing very well. The WAPC examination caused six subjects. The pass rate in 2016 was 45%. In 2023-64%. We have listened to John Mahama. Will we have free SHS? Will we have free SHS? No, he does not believe in it. So we introduce free SHS. And today we have we are giving every student in free in SHS a tablet. A laptop is a tablet. Every student. London secondary, you have your tablets. They have been distributed. And all your textbooks are also going to be on your tablets. We are taking education to the 21st century. And we are doing this for all of Ghana. We are going to move into STEM education. We have already established six STEM schools. So MPP is moving Ghana forward. We have also brought free TVET education. We have brought one constituency, one ambulance. We have moved into digitalization. We have brought the Ghana card. And the Ghana card is a very powerful instrument. Today, even the United States does not have the equivalent of the Ghana card. UK does not have the equivalent of the Ghana card. It's only now that they are talking about it. But your own country, Ghana, is already ahead. It's already ahead. The Ghana card is going to help us. Next year, when inshallah I'm president, next year, from next year, if you have a Ghana card, the application for a passport will no longer require you to fill a form. If you have a Ghana card, all you have to do is pay the fee, and we will print your passport for you. No more phone filling for passport in Ghana. This is the benefit of digitalization. Today, if you go abroad, today, you are in Saudi Arabia, you are in China, you are in Germany, you are in Australia, you are in Cameroon, you are in London, and if your passport gets lost, today, you go to any country in the world and your passport gets lost, you can take your Ghana card and board a plane and come back to Ghana. Today, today I have said something. A few days ago, I said something. I said that Ghana is going to be like the countries abroad. 
in the UK, Germany, United States, Canada, and all the developed countries. They have something called a credit scoring system for individuals. So everybody has a credit score. So the workers and the citizens don't struggle. If you want to buy a fridge, you can go on credit and pay for the fridge little by little by little. And then you pay. If you want to buy a car, you can buy the car and pay small, small, small. If you want to buy a phone, you can buy the phone and pay small, small, small. This is a credit scoring system. And that is the system I am going to introduce into Ghana. We are very, very soon uh, we'll be launching the credit scoring system in Ghana. And when I mention this, our friends in the NBC think it is not possible. But it is possible. It is possible. We are going to introduce it before they know it. And very soon, you know, when the system starts working, NBC will come and say, they started it. They'll come and say, they started it. You've heard them saying that they started three SHS, haven't you? Yes, when the credit scoring system starts, they are going to start saying, they started it. But I want to assure you that the introduction of this new credit system in Ghana is going to help all our workers, all our farmers, Everybody will be able to buy something and you are able to pay small, small, small until you finish paying. And that is how we are going to change this country. That is how we are going to change this country. I'm going to bring in a new import duty system. A new import duty system is going to be simple. Ghana's import duty cannot be higher than Togo's import duty. We are going to cap the import duty of Ghana and Togo. Ours will not be higher. So the cost of goods will come down for everybody. And that is where we are going. That is where we are going. We want to make sure that everybody has a chance. I am going to create jobs for the youth. We are going to create jobs for the youth. We as a government, we've already created more jobs than any other government in the history since independence. We've created more jobs than any other government in the Fourth Republic. John Mahama was creating unemployment with Jumso for four years. We are creating jobs, but it is not yet enough. We want to create more, and we are going to do more manufacturing, more creative arts, more pharmaceuticals, more sports, and all of that to create new great growth goals, more tourism, to create new jobs for our youth. So give Dr. Bauria a chance. Give Ambrosberry a chance, and you will see more jobs in London constituency. I say that we in the MPP have done a lot. I, as Vice President, have initiated and championed 33 different policies. 33 different policies. I asked John Mahama to point out one policy he championed as Vice President. Just one. He cannot. One. He cannot. So he says he 